Hi guys, welcome to Casamere Salentina this week. Oh, I'm Michael by the way, Anna is around somewhere, she'll be here shortly. This week I'd like to introduce the making of sourdough pizza, which I have made a video on. It's a bit of an instructional video um, for anyone who might be interested in that sort of thing. So sit back, relax, enjoy. I'm here. There she is. I told you she'd be here in a minute. <laughs> yes. I'll give you all the ins and outs, the, the way that I do it, the toppings that we use, but you can obviously use your own toppings. But um, I try to put a bit of humour in there as well to keep you interested. You'll see Michael's true colours. you see what I have to put up with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm joking. I, I'm joking. I hope you enjoy it. Yes. And we're talking about sourdough pizza are we? Sourdough I pizza. I missed the whole thing. Yes, sourdough pizza. <laughs> sourdough pizza. And in the coming weeks I will be making one on sourdough bread, how to make a loaf of yes. plain sourdough bread. Oh my gosh, we have to put a picture of the loaf he made today. Uh, in the yeah. video making actually there is a picture of a loaf of bread I made because oh. I was baking bread at the same time. Oh, so right. yes. You will yes. see that but we can Wonderful. insert today's as well. Yes, so if you're into making your own bread or you're wanting to learn to start from scratch because I think Michael does this video from start. From start? Yes. Yep. All right, definitely watch it. You'll, you'll enjoy this one. Yep. And uh, it's winter here. We've had a week of 21 degrees weather. The rain is supposed to be coming, so I'm guessing the cold will be coming soon. It is cold at nights though, five, six degrees. Yep. But we're taking advantage of every bit yeah. of the vitamin D that we can because we are today. some people. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> and we're counting down what is it? 37 weeks before we're back in Italy. I count them down. That's, I don't know if anyone's like me, but we're totally obsessed. <laughs> we can't wait. All right. So have we spoken about Facebook? No. We're also thinking of starting up and we want your feedback on this, guys. Um, would you be interested in starting up a Facebook community page um, for Casa Mia Salentina where we upload videos, whatever we talk about whatever on there yes actually all things italian all things italian you know we're talking about the food our travels especially when we're over yep. there next yep. um well next year next 37 year. weeks yep <laughs> County. Yep. Uh, uh but yeah any information it's another avenue for those who may not see youtube or yes. instagram you'd be yep. able to watch on facebook that's yeah. right not everyone does the um youtube community pages yeah. and uh or Instagram, so uh, we know a lot of people do Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Michael's very, very. I mean, you're always. I'm always on Facebook. Yeah. So, um, I, I don't do it. I only do it for my yeah. dance school business, but I'm not really a. I'm more on the Instagram side yeah. of it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Michael's yeah, really so, good with that. Um, so let us know in the comments, or um, drop us an email to casmiasalentina at gmail dot com yes. if you think that's a good idea and you'd be up for that. Um, we can. Uh, We've got other set new one exciting up. things coming. We. Should we mention that now? We might mention it later. We'll mention it. We'll do a separate video. Separate video? Yes. Yes. Stay tuned for things upcoming. Yes. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. I love you hot. I love you cold. I love you new. I love you old. I love you thin. I love you thick. I love you any way you tick. Pizza, pizza. I love you so. Welcome to this week's Casa Mia. Today I am making pizza. So this batch I'm making makes three pizzas, uh, sourdough pizzas of course. Uh, so we're going to get started. First of all I need 11 grams of salt, which I've already measured out there, weighed out. Next I'm going to weigh my water. So for this recipe I need 400 grams of water. I use spring water, not tap water, but uh, that's up to you. It's 400 403. Perfecto. Okay, next we're putting in our sourdough starter. Uh, hopefully, you've all got some sourdough starter. If you don't, you can make your own. Plenty of YouTubes out there that will show you how. Okay, so. This recipe, I'm going to put about 100 grams of starter in the water. I'll measure that in here. And a bit like the uh, water. If you get a bit more, a bit less, it doesn't matter so much. But we'll go 100. Perfecto. But 100 is my recipe. It depends on the weather. If it's cold weather, it takes a bit longer to ferment. You might want to add a little bit more. In summer, it rises a lot quicker. We can add less. All right. So, 
400 grams of water, about 100 grams of starter. Give it a bit of a mix up. Blend it in with your water. Yeah, the weather has a lot to do with uh, how your doughs will turn out. Get that mixed in. Okay, so now we're going to add our flour. We'll re zero our scales. This recipe 540 grams of flour. Now, I used to make this with just the cheap supermarket flour and it worked out fine. Um, but for our home pizza, I'm going to use the good stuff. Caputo. It's an Italian, Italian flour. There it is there. And it's great. Right. So, 540 grams of flour. Did you make it? Yes. 540. There we go. Okay. So, that's what our ingredients weighed. At this point, I'm going to add the salt. Some people add the salt in the first stretch and fold but I just add everything in together and I've never had much of a problem everything works out well okay mix it up we love our sourdough um, pizzas we have it every two weeks every fortnight this first mix is fairly rough just want to blend everything in together And then we're going to let it sit for between 30 and 60 minutes. I like to give it closer to 60, but uh, anywhere between 30 and 60 will work. Okay, as you can see, it's all blended through fairly well. Now, what I do here also, I'll add a bit of water into a bowl. I use to wet my fingers with when I'm mixing it up by hand. It also helps to get any excess off here without it sticking to your fingers. But I don't need to clean up in the camera. And yeah, I usually give it a bit of a, a little bit of a mix with the hands too, just to make sure it's all yep, yeah, just pretty moist underneath. All right, and we'll cover that and let it sit for about close to an hour. I just use the plastic. I'll clean down the sides here first. Every bit in there. Okay, and I just cover it over. Nothing gets on the bag when I do it this way. You can, of course, lay it flat. Sometimes when it as it gets stuck on the bag. It's up to you, of course. There it will sit for up to an hour. So one thing so I just wanted to point out was this is a special gadget for mixing up flour which someone gave to me. Very much appreciated. It works very well. But for the last couple of years I've just been using a standard kitchen fork. A good solid one, of course, to mix my dough with. So don't think you need to buy fancy tools. You can use what you have at home. Okay. A few moments later. Okay, welcome back. All right, so it's at about 50 minutes, so that'll do for today. Okay, we're going to do our first stretch and fold now. Okay, so I wet the hands so it doesn't stick to my fingers. Get your finger, your hand right underneath. Give it a bit of a stretch up. Fold it over. Turn the bowl. Again on the side, stretch up and over. Turn the bowl, give it a bit of a jiggle. You don't want to stretch it up too high because you don't want to break any gluten development. Stretch up and fold. Turn it. Oh, there goes the bell for the bread. I might show you the bread after that I'm baking as well. You'll get a feel of it. After a little while it becomes a bit more taut, you'll feel that getting taut, but you just want to go around it three or four times. I've done about six there I think, so and we'll let that sit again. And it will sit for about 30 minutes now. now and, and we're gonna do four lots of stretch and folds over about a two hour period. Sometimes I've done three, sometimes I've done five. Um, again, it doesn't really matter, but you, you 
Make sure you'll get a, a feel for the, uh, the dough. All right, we'll see you in 30 minutes. A few moments later. Welcome back. Before we start the second live stretch and folks, we've got to get our bread out of the oven. So I'll show you. This is our Saturday lunch. Beautiful. Okay. Back to pizza. Okay. Number two stretch and fold. It's another 30 minutes later now. We started this process around 9, 9.30 this morning. Two, get up. Jiggle, stretch, that is. Right. Two in 30. 2,000 years later. Okay, number three, stretch and fold. Same as before, wet the fingers, put it up, give it a bit of a jiggle, fold it over. Okay, stretch and fold number four. Okay. Okay, so that's our full stretch and fold. So now we're going to let it sit on the counter to do its fermentation thing. Uh, probably for three or four hours. I'll just keep an eye on it. Um, we started the process here just before 9.30 a.m. and it's now midday. So that's involved uh, mixing the dough, letting it sit for about an hour, doing four lots of stretch and folds uh, every 30 minutes over a two hour period and it's brought us to midday. And this afternoon when it's ready to uh, divide into three pizza doughs, we'll video that for you. Um, if it's ready sooner and I don't want it to rise anymore, I'll pop it in the fridge for an hour or so to cool it down, it slows down the um, fermentation. Uh, until then, we'll see you this evening for pizza. Okay, it's now 3 p.m. It's been about three hours fermenting. Uh, we'll just do the window pane test as I mentioned earlier. Wet your hands. See, it's quite strong now, it's likely breaking now, so it's probably just about ready, I'd say. Right over here again. Yep, that's good. Alright, so because it's only 3 o'clock and the dough is ready, I'm going to pop it in the oven. Sorry, in the fridge, of course, not the oven. <laughs> for, um, for an hour or two, and then I'll pull it back out an hour or two before um, I'm going to use it tonight. Welcome back. It's pizza time. <laughs> okay. Here's our dough. It's about 6 p.m. now. It's nice and bubbly and wobbly. Ready to go. Okay, I have to weigh it out now into three three sections. Okay, so I'm going to scoop it out onto the bench first. Spray it with water so it doesn't stick. Scales. Let's do a, a, a weight of the whole thing first. And it's about a thousand and seventy, so I'm going to divide that by three.
knock it over a bit. You can do this with your hands if you like. Pulling and stretching. I like this gadget myself. Just want it to a nice little firm ball. Then we can pick her up. Pop him up the back. Got the oven preheating on the highest setting. It goes. Show a bit of sandalina over the top of these three. Now we'll it there. And we'll come back to you when it's time to shake them into pizzas. Okay? <laughs> In about 20 minutes or so, as the three does. And here's the ingredients all ready to go. We've got our uh, base, which is just a um, passata sauce. You can have that plain. I throw in some oregano with a bit of olive oil and uh, a bit of tomato paste. Sea salt, Italian herb mix, which is just that one there. Um, Gianni Reggiano. Bit of um, salami or pepperoni I like on my, on my half of the pizza. Buffalo mozzarella, olives and mushrooms. Not all going on the one pizza. Bit of a mixture. And olive oil of course. Alright, time to put the pizzas together. Oven's preheated to the hot as it goes, 250 degrees Celsius. And just throw some semolina, fine semolina, all over the bench. Pizzas love semolina, makes for a nice crust. Okay, grab our first one up here. Okay, plenty of semolina as you can see. Okay, just going to gently work the edge of the dough, pushing out to the sides. Over. The same on the other side. Spin it. Spin it like that. I like to pick it up and stretch it with my hands. Face down, knuckle side up, so you don't put your fingers through. Depending how strong your dough is, it might take a bit of stretching. You may have to let it sit on the bench for a bit to relax again if you can't get it quite to the size you want. Right, so we have the big pizza paddle. Semolina all over that so it doesn't stick. We have plenty on there. Worst thing that can happen, and it's happened to me, is it sticks. Okay. Right. A bit more stretching. We're nearly there. To pop it on. The room here. Right. That's not too bad. Bit of a jiggle, make sure it's moving. Okay, so we can put together the first pizza. The first one is a margarita. I'll have some bit of meat on my side of it.
with some chili in this mix. I don't usually use my hand to do this, so uh, make sure I don't forget to wash my hands. Or there might be trouble. Okay. Bit of sea salt. Take about six or seven minutes on the pizza stone, that's about all. I'll give you a quick look. I sometimes spin them around. I think it's hotter at the back than the front. We'll do the bottom one after. pieces of each. Now we're into the last one. Alright, so we we did the dough earlier, so it should be nice and relaxed now. As you can see, oh, it wants to go really big because it's been sitting there and relaxed. Just give it a bit of semolina over the top. This pizza is really for me because I'm not a meat eater. She's not a meat eater, yes. So you might mushrooms notice, are yes. my meat. In the last one, I when I made the toppings of the margarita, I did forget to put my meat on and had to throw it on halfway through cooking. You might have noticed that. I showed you. Yes, that only went on half the pizza. Yeah, Michael's half. My half. But mine's the real margarita. Yeah, exactly. to cheese. You're the perfect meal to satisfy. And that should take six, seven, maybe eight minutes because it's got quite a lot of mushroom on there. And if I had a pizza oven, it's only a couple of minutes, but we don't have one here. We'll see how we go after this. Just thought we'd show them our fridge. Oh, That's the yes. uh, Sicilian. Yes. <laughs> and of course, the bambino because everyone loves a bambino. Uh, that's right. And some of our memorabilia there. Yeah. <laughs> and one more thing I do here, while the third pizza's in, I clean up this mess, as you can see. It's yes. A big mess. So usually by the time I take the last pizza out, I've washed everything up, put it all away. It may not happen today. With your tomato sauce and your gooey cheese, you're the food that brings me to my knees. Here we are. As I said, everything's clean. I've washed and put it all away already. Last pizza coming out. Olives and mushrooms. Whoops. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom. Did not forget to turn the oven off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you there did. it is. Nom nom. <laughs> Thank you. I hope this video has helped you if you're thinking of making sourdough pizza. Um, I will leave the recipe in the description below. Any comments, questions, just let me know. I just got your... Oh, yes. yes. This was a gift from someone. Actually, yes. Lovely. And enjoy. Ciao, ciao.
Paid with an ice cream potato.